In this presentation, I will discuss the working of seismic method in comparison with other geophysical methods. We know that each geophysical method has a contrast such as density for gravity methods, resistivity for electrical methods, and susceptibility for magnetic methods. Similarly, the contrast for the seismic method is velocity. Most of the geophysical methods are volume methods while seismic is a boundary method. Most geophysical methods are volume-based methods that is larger the volume of subsurface body, the larger would be its anomaly. Examples are the gravity, magnetic methods. In the volume-based methods, the anomaly increases when the contrast is higher, when the body volume is larger, and even the body is closer to the surface. We would see each of these cases one by one. Here we have a subsurface body and its density is higher than the surrounding rock unit. So we have an anomaly. Now if the density is much higher than the surrounding rocks, its anomaly would also increase. Similarly, if the size of the subsurface body is larger, we would see that the signature of the anomaly would also be enhanced. And finally, if the body is closer to the surface, again the anomaly would increase. For the seismic method, we have a property called acoustic impedance, which is the product of velocity and density. Velocity and density, both of them are the body properties. Similarly, the acoustic impedance, which is their product, is also a body property and it is responsible for the seismic contrast between the two layers. We introduce another term, reflection coefficient, which is the contrast computed at the boundary between the two layers. We have two layers with velocities and densities and their products would give us the caustic impedance. Then we can compute the reflection coefficient using this simple equation and this would be the reflection coefficient for a zero incidence wave. If the density information is not available, we can simplify the equation with just the velocity values. Now we would see that seismic is a boundary method rather than a volume method. The reflection coefficient only depends on velocity contrast between the two layers. So if we have two layers with velocities 1000 meters per second and 2000 meters per second, we will have a reflection coefficient of 0.33. Now we would see that the reflection coefficient does not change when the layer thickness increases. So we can see even if the layer thickness would increase, the reflection coefficient would remain same. Similarly, if the layer is closer to the surface, the reflection coefficient would not change. Only the seismic signature would be moved up. Similarly, we will see that higher velocities may not give a higher reflection coefficient. Like in this case, the velocities of the two layers are 1000 meters per second and 2000 meters per second, while the reflection coefficient is 0.33. On the other hand, in this case, the two layers have much higher velocities, but the reflection coefficient is 0.11. Actually, it is not the higher velocities, but the percentage increase of the second layer's velocity in comparison with the top layer velocity that is going to control the reflection coefficient. In this way we have seen that seismic is a boundary method as compared to the other geophysical methods.